Whenever you're caulking a boat with tight seams, you need a caulking ruler. And today, on the Art of Boat Building, we're going to build this caulking ruler. The first thing that we want to do is to decide on a design for our caulking wheel. And this is an example of one that is an illustration out of Greg Russell's book, which is sort of a pistol grip style wheel. Here is an example of an antique one. The other option is simply to have the wheel on the end of a stick, like this one. During my research, I had come across a caulking wheel that I believe the Northwest School of Boat Building was using. And I used that as an inspiration for the caulking wheel that I'm going to make. So the one that I've designed is the one that's on the end of a stick with a little bit of flair to it. So to get started with our design, I put together a drawing. And in the drawing, you can see here the basic shape of the handle. And here would be the caulking wheel. Now, the trick to the caulking wheel is that it needs to be tapered a little bit like this and be flat on its circumference. So I decided that what I would do is to take a couple of fender washers like these and put them together, which would give me the proper thickness. And then I thought that what I would do is to put a bolt through there and put it on my drill and then run it against the disc grinder. So the part of that that's going to be difficult is that I don't want this, the bolt to be sloppy in this hole. Now the hole is 3 16 of an inch. And there is no such thing as a 3 16 inch bolt. All there is is a number 10 bolt. And a number 10 bolt, like this one, when you put it in there, it's way too sloppy. And that would not keep that wheel on there very tight. So what I discovered was that a number 6 metric bolt, so this is, a num is an M6, and I believe it is 30 millimeters long. So that fits in there perfectly tight like that. So I will do that and then put a nut on the back of it like so. And then put this in my electric drill. The other aspects of the design is that it'll be made out of walnut. So the handle will be a nice piece of walnut and that I'm going to put a uh, lanyard hole here, and I have this piece of 5 8 inch uh, brass tubing that I'll use for that lanyard hole. Now, to, for the bolt through here, I have what's called a post and screw, like this, and those will go on there. Now, it's a little bit longer than I need, but I'll be able to trim that off. So, let me show you how I made that caulking wheel. to reverse the drill to make sure they were spinning in opposite directions.
see how that put a really nice taper on there. Now I'll clean that up with a little uh, sandpaper and some polish to make it nice and smooth. Uh, and then I'll flip it over and I'll do the other washer on the back side so that I've got that V taper to the whole thing. Uh, once that's finished then, we can turn our attention to the handle. To get started with that, I'll take a copy of the drawing and cut it out for a template. I use these self-adhesive sandpaper rolls and attach them to pieces of insulation. It really works well for tight sanding. I like the way these pads contour the shape of the item that you're sanding.
Well, let me show you how this works. Uh, basically, once you get the cotton started in there, just come along with this roller and just slowly work that cotton. See how that pushes it right down in there. I'll explain this process in more detail in future videos. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. And remember, if you're going to make it, make it beautiful.